So what I'm saying is that your truth, okay. so your religion, okay. is your truth. Okay, let me but ask. to me, it's not my truth. If you are 100% truth in something, can you be 5% wrong? Yes. No, that's okay. 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 Yes. One second, one second, please, please, please. Let's not muddy this water. If, for example, if if you're 100% certain that, red, that bus is red, can it be pink 5%? Yes. Because, if you are... Because my eyes might see differently to your eyes. We have something called being colorblind. So people see things differently. Someone's truth is not the same as everyone else's truth. This is what I'm saying. And with science, at least, it might show that an answer is true, but it's always questioning itself. And sometimes they turn around and the science changes and they say, actually, we realized you're, this is wrong. You're actually talking about something that I'm not even talking about. I'm not talking about the shades. I'm talking about if you're 100% true and certain, do you exist? Do I? I'm asking you. There's a very, very strong argument that none of us exist, that this is all a simulation. Do you exist? What does that mean? What does that mean? Okay. I don't know, do I? What exist? part of the statement is not clear to you in the English language? Do, do, does, date, you, them, I, we, pronouns, exist, existence, non-existence. So which part of that statement, my question, is not clear to you? Do you exist? Then I can answer the question. Well, instead of being patronizing... I'm not patronizing it. Patronizing no, I'm not, I'm not. Don't be offended, don't be offended. Because the moment people say, what do you mean by that? Okay, I'll, I'll put it back to you and you can give me your answer. Do yeah. you exist? I do. How do you know? Okay. Did you feel anything? Yes, but... Oh, wait, wait. Wait, could, wait, could wait. Could you be having wait a, second, a dream? Wait a second. Could it feel? Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. If I didn't exist, meaning I was non-existence whatsoever, I was no atoms, no electrons, no quarks, heptons, leptons, gluons, bosons. I was nothing whatsoever. No space-time continuity. I was not a black hole. I was not quantum fluctuations. I was not matter. I was not energy. I was not time. I was not space. If I was totally non-existence, would you have felt that? Well, how do you know that's real? Would you have felt it? My question. Did you feel I it? felt it. You, you felt, felt it. it. But how oh, do wait, you know wait, what wait, your wait. feeling is real? Wait, I'm asking you. This is my question to you. If I was totally in non-existence, would you have felt it? But you're assuming that I am real. No. Would you have felt it? It's a logical question. Would you have felt it if I was totally in non-existence? You're assuming... And I apologize for pushing you. You are assuming <laughs> all of these things are real. No, 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 no. I'm simply asking you. If I didn't exist at all and I defined how can I exist? I can exist as matter. Space, time, fluctuations, quantum fields, but how gravity. How do you know that look, look, you look, look, look. are real and any of that exists? Supp you don't. Suppose I don't exist, right? That's what I'm asking. If I didn't exist, would you have felt it? That push. Pushing me does not prove your existence or my existence. So if I didn't exist... Why did you move? Why did you move? <laughs> Thank you. It's hard, isn't it, when confronted you, with real facts? No, 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 because I'm not buying any of this. Pushing me okay, doesn't why, prove I... Why did you move? Pushing you, everything here, everything, could be in your head. No. Why did you move? Next question. I moved because you pushed me. But I don't exist. <laughs> Maybe you don't. Well, what's the point you're making? Maybe you don't exist. Yeah, so why did you move? If he doesn't exist, then you should not have moved. But this is what I'm saying. Maybe I don't exist. Maybe but you, then you would not have moved. Yes, I would. I'd be in his head. If all of this was... If, he was if you in didn't a coma, exist, you wouldn't have moved. If you were in a coma and you were dreaming all of this, look, you'd be doing all this in your you head, know, but you wouldn't be doing any of look, it in real life. I could have done something worse, right? I only pushed you. <laughs> if I had punched you, you'd have punched me back. You'd be punching back to something non-existent, wouldn't you? Imagine I punched you. I hit you so hard and I swear that you, I called you something very wicked, something very vulgar about your mother, about your girlfriend, about your wife, about your whatever. You would be hitting back something that doesn't exist? 